We're doing problem 1242 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. And this problem consists of pretty much the same concepts we've been touching up on the last three videos, 1239 to 1230, uh, 1241, 1239 to 1241. And you know, once if you if you already have a hang of those three problems, you should be all set for this problem. As um, as you might you know you you might stop the video here, try it yourself, and then as I go through the video, just you know keep playing it so you can see what the right answer is. And hopeful, the whole point of this, I'm trying to get you guys comfortable and and um, and build the confidence to set up your videos to, to set up your problems correctly, so you don't have to second guess yourself. Because that's, that's kind of the half the battle when you're doing these problems or any problem in statics, dynamics, mechanical materials. So here, determine the velocity of block A if and F of the rope is pulled down with a speed of uh, three meters per second. So again. We pull it down, we should expect A to go up, okay? Remember, always do a sanity check, make sure that it follows the physics of our universe, okay? Where things, um, you drop them, they fall down, if you pull them up, they might go up, and so on. Right, just, just go through those uh, mental checks. So here, um, like I said, if you have one string, like over here we have one string we're just gonna have one equation okay so let's let's set up the problem well the dotted line I kinda just highlighted that as my datum point over there and then we have a bunch of these um, you know we have LB here we have another rope here another piece of rope right here right another piece of rope right here and last but not least, we have we can we can put this one as you know L F. Okay. So as we pull F down, right, this whole block is you know this whole block is going to go up and down or however um, uniformly. So you know this you know you're not gonna pull it and the block's gonna be like tilted because you know b is going faster than pulley d okay b pulley b and d are going to be going up at the same uh this you know the same rate all right so which means that these ropes that are highlighted here or these pieces of ropes that are highlighted here are all going to be going with the same velocity with and they're all the same height right so i'm going to have four of these ropes for lb plus lf equals the total length of the string and then one time derivative we get 4vb plus vf equals zero and then we get vf equals minus 4vb all right and then we get what is it vf is going down at minus uh, so it's three meters per second again set your coordinate system in a way that you're I always set my coordinate system this way, just so it makes sense to me, right? Up is positive, down is negative, right? Um, so VF is going to be minus 3 meters per second, and this is minus 4 VB. The minus cancel out, and then you get 3 fourths VB, okay? So velocity of block A if and f of the rope is pulled down with a speed of vf equals three meters per second, then block a is gonna go is going to um, go up at a speed of 0 0.75 meters per second. And I'm gonna put a little thing here because some professors want to see that little arrow so you understand that oh it is going up or it is going down. Okay, and that's it. This one's pretty easy. Uh, well, easy, especially if you've already done the previous problems. And the next problem we see, which is 1243, that's when, again, it gets tricky. And that's sort of the problems that I would see a professor throwing out on an exam. You know, it's something that kind of tests your fundamental knowledge, but wants you to work out some, some critical thinking. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, like and share. Um, or like if you enjoyed it. Share if you want to help out some of your classmates. 
Um, I hope this video helped you out. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.